Um, and today we're taking a look at some new things. I also added this in. Um, it's constantly updating proximity detector for a the closest player within 40 blocks. Um, and this changes it to day and clears the weather. This is nice um, because it allows me to have it change all of this stuff while I'm at this build, but not necessarily uh, all the time, but just when I'm at that build. So, the next thing we're going to be looking at is this. Now, I showed you this here. This is my randomizer that uses hoppers. Um, it's a two-output randomizer. So, it works really well. Um, and we're going to show you some more hopper things, hopper-related things. So, both of these things are the same deal. Now, um, these are both systems. Let me just copy this. Whoops. Um, these are both systems to do some sort of potential, like, TF2-style point capping system. Uh, and they both do essentially the same thing. Give you a timer uh, that you have to stand on a pressure plate, essentially. Um, or have, like, some sort of block, uh, like, player detector that's detecting you. Some, some sort of redstone input that has to consistently happen for a certain amount of time to cap the point. And then it resets uh, if the person leaves that area or gets off that pressure plate. So these are both systems to do it. Slightly different variations, and I haven't decided which I'm going to use. Uh, there is a difference between the two, and I will show you. Now, starting with this one, I'll just show you what happens with this one. We stand on here, and you'll see the redstone starts to gain in signal strength. Um, now it should continue gaining... This one's kind of slow. They're both kind of slow. Um, and I can adjust this depending on the length of that redstone line there. That may be kind of long. But you'll see soon here. Boom. I lied. Boom. Point capped. Okay. And you'll see now the redstone line will start to drain. Now, the way this is working is I've got this timer here, which right now is stopped. Um, and what that is stopped by uh, this this torch here. And what would happen if the torch was off, which is what happens when you stand on the pressure plate, is it spits this item back and forth. And this is a cool way to do a timer. Let me just show you here. Um, let me grab this. And let me just put a single item in here. You'll see... It's just a consistent timer with hoppers, um, and it doesn't get messed up by just random redstone, like, not working when you log back in kind of thing. Uh, it's a pretty cool system, and I, I use it from time to time. But what it's doing is that when I stand on this pressure plate, it turns off this redstone torch, thus letting this timer go, or this uh, clock go. And what it does is then sends signals to this dropper, which is spitting items into this hopper. Now this hopper is aimed back into the dropper. So normally what would happen is it would just spit the items it would spit an item in, the hopper would put it back in, put it back in the hopper, I mean in the dropper. And the dropper would spit the item into the hopper. This is very confusing with names. The dropper would spit items an item into the hopper and it would put it back in. Now what I'm doing here is I have this redstone line that also runs from this pressure plate. So as soon as this timer starts or this clock starts, this uh, hopper will also be kind of impaired, and it will not spit items back in. And I'm using uh, Ender Pearls here because it's stacks of 16. Uh, I think I went over this in the last video, like partial slot, partial slots and full slots. I did with the randomizer actually. Um, these Ender Pearls take up one one takes up one sixteenth of a slot uh, of an inventory slot. So. What it's doing is then, this is calculating how much is in here, and because they, the items can't be spat, spat back in, what it does is it uh, shows how how many items are in there based on the strength of the redstone line. Uh, and basically, that's how it counts up, and then it resets because as soon as I get off that pressure plate, the uh, torch goes off, which means it starts spitting all the items back into here. Now this is a variation on someone else's design for a similar thing uh, that I have modified to do this kind of deal. 
And this is another one. I think this is this might be Seth Bling's design. And I'll show you this one as well. Now this one is completely redstone. There's no hoppers or anything involved. Now you'll see pretty soon, boom, point capped. And then it'll reset. Boop. But the cool part is you stand on here. So it gets part way there and then you jump. Almost instantly reset. Now that's the benefit of this one. It's almost instantly reset. This one will stay where it was for a little while and then it'll drain slowly. This one is almost instantly reset to some kind of like cap value zero. Now how this is achieved is I've got some redstone going through here. Now these are a bunch of repeaters set to very slow. Uh, so normally if I were to just detach all of these up here, um, and I'll explain that in a second, uh, if I were to jump on this pressure plate, the signal would just go doot, 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 throughout the thing and reach here inevitably. Now what this is doing is using uh, comparators because the comparators have a half tick of delay and they're just running along this whole thing. And I could actually probably optimize this just by doing redstone, but this is, uh, actually no, I couldn't because it I requires these. Now this redstone line is what I'm affecting. And this redstone line kind of goes through these blocks because it's using both input from here, down here, the repeater going into the block, powering the block, thus powering this piece of redstone. And also the, uh, comparator going into this block, thus powering this redstone. So the thing is, this line is way faster than the bottom line. So what will happen, as you, you can kind of see on here, uh, you just go over it here, it's turning all this stuff off. But this stuff, as it, uh, if I were to leave, well, if I leave the pressure plate, this stuff starts to refill again, all of these, uh, all these repeaters, but what happens is, because they are powered by this uh, piece of redstone as well, these uh, these comparators right here, because the line's faster, will go and fill all this up, making sure these are powered again so this doesn't turn off. So I'm leaning towards this design because it has a faster reset time. You can see, boom. So that's when that got reset right there. You can see this drains, so the reset line is drained, and now I can let it get to almost there, and if I jump off, oh, okay, I didn't jump off in time. Now, that's the one thing. You can leave it up to about, let's see, probably here-ish, maybe? Yeah, not even. Um, so there is still a reset time, and that is something that is a little bit of an issue, is that there's still this little tail end here where... You could be about like three to four, maybe even five repeaters away, uh, and this will reset, uh, won't reset fast enough, and so the point will still be capped even if you were to leave this pressure plate uh, with another like a few, maybe a second or two to go. Now that's something I'm trying to work on, trying to get a system that'll go very, like almost instant, it'll just instantly reset. Um, but those are the two systems that I'm thinking about using if I incorporate a uh, a point capping system. And the other thing is this can be activated by uh, wireless redstone like I use over there. Um, this, instead of a pressure plate, can be a uh, command block that is removing, uh, constantly removing that dummy effect. And I believe I can achieve that with, with wireless redstone. So this system can be, um, doesn't have to be built into the map. That's the other thing. These, I need to work on a system so this can be built into this machine. And the point, the capping points can be uh, just activated with these command blocks. Anyway, guys, uh, I hope this was instructional or interesting. Um, and if you enjoyed, I'd love it if you could subscribe and rate and comment and all of those things. Um, also, I sometimes post things on Reddit, so if you came here from Reddit, thanks. I appreciate it. Um, and also, make sure to check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Twitter.com slash namelesspixel and Facebook.com slash namelesspixel. And sometimes I stream things on uh, twitch.tv slash splice14, S-P-L-I-C-E-1-4. I may do some of that with this, just working on this stuff um, and listening to some sweet jams, potentially. Um, but otherwise, thank you for watching.
Hey guys, side note, uh, sorry for this little PS thing after the after the fact, but I figured out a good way just to fix this. Quick line of redstone this way, we'll reset this thing um, incredibly quickly, just this point incredibly quickly, and then all of the rest of these will be reset by this line up here. Um, this just makes it so that I can stand on this uh, pressure pad here until right about the end, so that's like almost the point being capped point didn't get capped because this is pretty much instantly reset by this line here and then the rest of it resets on its own there you go guys that's the solution so anyway thank you for watching bye